Hi, good morning. This is Patricia McNeely. I'm a twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. And today I'm going to talk to you about the universal source love energies and twin flames. A lot of you have been experiencing a lot. I hope everyone had a very happy Valentine's Day. Um, yesterday was a full moon, so there were a lot of energies that we've all been feeling. All kinds of energies are bombarding us from everywhere. And today I'm going to focus on going all the way out to the universe, the edge of the universe from whence we originated and started our journeys uh, in separation and source love. Now, what are the twins here to do? The twins are here to embody that source love, to reunite with each other, make love, merge themselves back together, and bring it here to bring all of their creative love, their creative sweet power, and bring it right here to Earth. And the way that we do that is by merging all the way out at our origins and here. So anybody who's with their twin, you may be having some trial and error with this, and I applaud you for sticking it out, going through it, uh, going through all the releasings of the pain. And for those of you who aren't with your twin, who either haven't met your twin yet, but you know who you are, or who have met their twin, and maybe you've had a touch and go, and you will be with your twin. There's old texts that will tell you that twins can't be incarnate together, and that's not exactly true anymore. Everything is shifted to support you. Why? Because the source love that you are is necessary to renew you, restore you, to heal you, and for you to be in love again, for you to feel love, and for you to spread the love here. The love that you are is the creative force of the entire universe. You are source love. So it's a process though. So this is you, and you are have made all your connections, but now you've connected to source and you've gone out, you've gone, poked yourself through the barrier. These barriers have frequently been um, populated by other angelic beings, angelics that you've connected with and angelics that have been your friends and sometimes have been your lovers. They are seraphic angelics, they are cherubic, cherubic angelics, they are ophanim, they are wheels. We've, many of us have been everything, so we've been able to connect and actually permeate these barriers. Now how does it feel? The way it feels is when you're laying down and you're connecting, for a lot of you, your meditations have completely changed. You actually don't meditate in the old way. You may still lay down or get still, and being still is not the same as doing nothing. When you're being still and you maintain your consciousness, you maintain being alert, you're able to very slowly permeate through these layers. And so some of you do have uh, an expanded awareness. You've been expanded already. And it's a mount, when you go through, your twin is also going through these portals. They're going through it. They're getting expanded. They don't exactly know everything that's happening to them. But they'll suddenly know things or they'll suddenly feel things because well what happens when you go through these universal and cosmic energies you go through you're scraping stuff off of you and it's been painful for a lot of you you felt 
a tremendous amount of pain. You felt head pain. You felt, you know, neck and shoulder pain as you squeeze through these. But things are literally getting scraped off of you and taken away. And for some of you, you are doing for your twin what they may not be able to do for themselves right now. But that's not to say that they're not doing. We're doing for each other. The love is always reciprocal. It always goes back and forth like an infinity symbol. The love is the love is the love is the love. And source love is who you are. So in order to become creative again, to have all of your healing, to have all of your gifts, to have all of your creative endeavors, everything that you will or will become passionate about, anything that you'll invent, create, a business, a uh, music, uh, any other type of endeavor out in the world, um, you need to do that by connecting all of your universal energies out to source. And you, many of you have made these connections. You've made it to the 10th, which is the barrier, the 11th, the 12th, and the 13th leading up to source energy. Now these are connections. So if you've connected your heart all the way here, and you're always connected to your twin. You're always out, there's always a golden cord of connection with your twin. You're never not connected with your twin. You may have all kinds of different separations between you, but you are always eternally connected. We planned it that way. We plan to come back together in full love with all of our knowledge, with all of your experiences. It's like going traveling and you say, well, I'm going to go to France, and your twin says, well, I'm going to go to China, and let's come back and compare our experiences, and, oh, I learned to make Chinese food, I'm going to make you some, and, oh, well, I learned to make croissants, and we'll have that, and you make this lovely thing together, together, and you're intended to be together. Now, the Earth also has been going through these energetic portals, you know, so we've been going through and the entire planet's getting scraped off, cleaned up, clean and clear, and it's all for the love. The love is the driving force, the sweet, powerful force of everything. Now, I want to talk a little bit about how these energies feel. They feel very subtle. They're very subtle. And the people you've connected with, the people, places, and things that you and your twin have connected with at these universal levels, it's subtle and yet it's this big. So for some of you who may have studied psychology, you have these um, circles of relationship. So you'll have something that looks like concentric rings and we're way at the outer rings now we're at the outer rings of our connections of relationship and you'll notice that you know these people that sometimes are your parents your children a uh, close cousin a uh, colleague uh, it could be a best friend You'll notice that these people will have a significance, but you'll start noticing little subtle things about them that start annoying you or that start becoming something that you want to set your boundaries on. And there's a reason for that because you're literally clearing all your spaces way out to the universe for your twin to not only come to you, but for you to, to go freely to source. So when you have these retrogrades, that's for it to come up right, right in front of you and say, hey, did you still need this best friend who thinks that they can control your life? And there's that person standing there right in front of you. And, you know, who's your true best friend? It's your twin. 
But unless that space is cleared, unless you move it out, and I'm not suggesting that you necessarily have to break up a friendship, but what you have to do is shift it and put it in its proper place. Put it in the place where it belongs because chances are your best friend needs to be with their true love in the proper way and maybe not be so in involved in each other's lives. Maybe, you know, it's an imbalanced relationship where one of you just jumps through hoops all the time or always helps the other one out of crises. You really need to look at the subtleties of your relationship because those are the things that come back to bite you. And they will bite you when it comes to your twin because what it amounts to is a wall. So you've got this huge, here's my son's hula hoop. I think you're finding out I like to use props. Okay, here's your universal, and you're passing through this. You're passing through these energies. And as you pass through, you get cleared, and you and your twin are getting cleared to go all the way to source. The twin flames are the ones who are bringing source love back to earth. We are the ones who are here to infuse new love into everything, everything, right at the elemental levels. Now, out in the universal area, there are universal ethereals. And what those are, it's Part particles of us, particles of us that make up everything out in the universe that has our love infused into it. So think of the elements that the earth is made of, but the universal ethereals are what the universe is made of. It's the matter, the material that the universe is made of. So the reason that this is, it's very fine, there's a lot of finesse, there's, it needs subtle, it's subtle, and it requires a lot of discernment because I, I read a description that someone else put, and someone called it baby waves. Not baby waves in the sense of small, baby waves in the sense that a lot of you when you were children and your parents took you to the water, they might have sloshed you around in this water and you could relax and feel yourself. That's how these waves feel in a lot of ways. You know, feel like, you know, here's a little um, wind thing. You blow it, you just need a little movement to move things. But you turn it this way. The same amount of air is moving it so much quicker. So align yourself with your twin. Keep focusing on your twin. Keep letting those waves do their job. What you want to do is keep focusing on going home with your twin. Where is home? It's the source. We make love out here. We make love in all these ways. We're intertwining our love and we're bringing it right here. We're bringing it right here and we're making love here. And we literally make the energy of love. We send it out through every atomic particle of our essence here. It ripples out. And I can tell you this, that uh, you don't need to know all the technical parts of it. I'm giving you sort of a glossy overview of some stuff here because what I really want you to do is focus on this is happening for a reason. This is not happening to make you a cosmic joke or a universal joke. This is happening because you wished it. You expected it. You planned it. You and your twin, when you agreed to separate, you knew you loved each other. But you wanted to explore everything in form, everything that love is. And you found out a lot of what love isn't. We, we're getting rid of that. The beautiful thing is that all of this crud that is out there that we encountered, you know, bad situations, uh, bad people, 
you know, energy, um, morphic resonances of bad energetics that are left in certain spots that you can feel. You know, now you can feel your calluses are off. Everything that propped you up here is taken away. So what are you doing now? You're floating out to the outer edges of your origins, ready to go home and bring it all back. So avail yourself of these healing energies. Don't sit there and say to yourself in futility, well, this just isn't happening. It's not working. There's another thing with subtle energies. It's uh, it takes a little bit of time and patience. You know, it's something where you have to allow it to work for you. A lot of people in our society and Western culture are very focused on instant results. You know, fax me that thing, text it to me, tweet it to me. What's the matter you don't have those things all set up? You don't need it all set up. We've set it up as we went along. We put our little system of checks and balances. We put, we laid all of the little packages of food along the way when the breadcrumbs so we could find our way back home and back home to each other. Some of us are guides. I'm here to guide, not claiming to be an expert, but I do know what I've experienced. I have experienced a full merge. I have also um, connect made these connections. Now, does that mean that I'm going astral traveling? It's not like that anymore. A lot of you are in place here to do this and fulfill your agreement. If you could have merged over here, you would have done it and you wouldn't even be sitting here watching this. You're here for a reason and you're here to receive. You're here to receive the uh, new blueprint for your new body, your new light body. You're here to receive the template for new, which amounts to twins, your template for new partnership and your relationships with your environment, the outer world, the cosmos, the universe. So you're here to breathe in and out with your twins. Breathe in, they breathe out to you, you breathe it out to them, and you keep each other going this way. They are your source. Your twin is your source. For twins, we do this through our sacred sexual unions, and you can't do this with soulmates. You might try, and there's people who try, and there's people who I'm sure are going to continue to try, but when these universal energies uh, come to you and they very gently crack things off of you, when there's a retrograde, um, you know, when there's a Mars retrograde, a lot of that is the masculine energy that'll say, do you want more of this? Do you really want to fight more? Do you really want to, you know, become a petty tyrant in your house? Uh, when it's the feminine energy, do you really want to uh, just delve down into despair? Or are you going to set your boundaries and, you know, get angry and push off? You know, these are the things, you know, the subtle things because... They do affect your physical body. They affect how you breathe. You know, you might not, you might feel a little something in your chest similar to asthma, some wheezing. What is that? That is these energies. These are all these needly things that happen to you during the day. The boss said this. The guy at the store said that. The lady over here said this. That my kids said that. And my mom said that. And you know, pretty soon it adds up, you get to the end of the day and you're just having chest pains. You're having chest pains and you can't align properly. You need to focus on your breathing and focus within. And I'm going to say this now, your twin with that eternal connection is always within you. Nothing's ever lost. Speak to your twin. Speak lovingly to your twin. Tell your twin how you'd love to make love with them. Tell them how you'd love to dance through the stars with them making love. And breathe. 
focus on your breathing, focus on being calm, focus on the fact that you do have your eternal partner, your beloved, and your beloved is coming home to you. Your beloved is also experiencing while you're experiencing. So this isn't just a one-way street. This is a two-way street with your twin where you're not intended to be, you know, passing each other. You're intended to continue to merge all your parts together. We're going home. The home is source. Home is also inside your twin. You're at home with each other. Our sacred sexual union, it is sacred because we are source beings. We are divine counterparts to each other. And that's who twin flames are. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, I can be contacted at my website. Please uh, feel free to share these videos and have a wonderful day. Bye now.